Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Uh, today we will be speaking about Eliana, uh, another epic hero. Uh, the last epic hero we checked and we reviewed was Gwenwin, so it's time for us to have a dig uh, with the Eliana. Uh, so first of all we need to understand her skills, uh, how she can be useful, in what category of the game and when. First of all, uh, if, whenever you're gonna read the skills of the hero, you will see there is a lot of shields, a lot of damage reduction, a lot of defensive bonuses, so in overall, Eliana, in my opinion, is a more defensive hero. We don't have much of epic heroes who are defensive, so Eliana is always the priority. So, uh, Eliana is overall with peacekeeping and with support. Overall means that it doesn't matter with which kind of legion type you want to use with her, she's good with anything, which means that she's like one of the most versatile heroes, epic heroes in the game. But in my opinion, she's strongest with infantry. Because whenever you, ha you are having fight with infantry, it's better for you to have a lot of damage reduction, a lot of shielding, and whenever you're gonna awaken her, she's getting a divine shield. It's like a 70% chance and it's with healing. So, uh, it's really, really easy to uh, awaken her and it's she has a many different ways of usage for example if we're gonna go to the garrison she is one of the best secondary deputy hero for the garrison if if we can pair uh, eliana with bahar bahar also has a lot of damage reduction and a lot of skill damage reduction with uh, eliana's shielding it's like uh, one of the best defensive garrison pair yeah, even with the legendary ones, we don't have a lot of legendary garrison heroes. Uh, that's why Bahar and Eliana is, in my opinion, especially for a free-to-play player, is great. What we can see here in talents, there is of course three ways of playing with her. Uh, in my opinion, best way for to, to choose to play with her is with overall tree. After that, it comes peacekeeping. Uh, as you already know, peacekeeping is for a level up in hero. Uh, every time, whenever there is a new season, every hero's level is zero. So it will be really, really useful to have a peacekeeping talent too. And regarding the support, support is third option, and third option is the war. So I won't gonna advise anyone to go for a support tree. Overall has a lot of benefits, a lot of damage reductions, a lot of overall plus and uh, not, uh, not much negative here. So in my opinion, if you want to choose between these three, you should always be going with overall three. Right now, uh, I'm using Eliana uh, for sometimes for peacekeeping and mostly for garrison. Uh, as, as, as I already said, Eliana is the best garrison hero. So, how it's possible to awaken her, uh, it's pretty easy. Every time in the game, like once in a month, there is an Eliana event. Uh, whenever you are just killing the Darklings or doing the like normal stuff in the game, you are getting ab ab abandoned puppets. And for example, if I will use it, there will be a new enemy in the map and I can rally it with my alliance. And whenever we're gonna kill the puppets, it will be it will be giving us the Eliana shards. Uh, I, don't, I don't think anyone is getting everyone is getting in the rally, but there is a big chance of getting the shards of Eliana. So that's why it is really really easy to awaken her. I'm not saying it should be your priority. Uh, I'm not saying you should rush to uh, awaken her because, as my experience says. I did not rush, I did not focus on her, it, it was not never my priority, but it happened by itself. That's why I think it's important to look at her. I know there is a lot of heroes in this game who you want to maximize, and you might not notice this small cute girl, but trust me, you will love playing with her. She is like one of the best tanks in the game and uh, it will be really really useful like in many many different aspects to uh, have her awakened regarding the artifacts 
in my opinion there is not much of the artifacts you want to use with her because she is mainly a deputy hero and as you as you should already know you should not be using uh, artifacts on a deputy hero because you just can't it's useless but even if you if you want to try her with as a main hero in the uh, legion then i would suggest to have a like butcher blade it's like normal infantry unit uh, artifact like mainly you should be playing eliana with infantry because of her damage reduction because of her healing and shielding like anything goes good anything will be good with her where there is infantry uh, and there is a normal skill so like for example uh, butcher blade rada's wrath can be good but it's only just because of peacekeeping damage and she is already a peacekeeper so i would not suggest so regarding our artifacts i think anything will be good with infantry because i mainly use her with infantry uh, and like keeping in mind you don't need to use uh, uh, artifact on a deputy hero uh, regarding the usage of the hero i think she's better in early game in later stages there's a lot more uh, and better uh, heroes in the game but she does not lose her priority she will be always be useful in garrison with Bahar or somebody else it will be always easy for you to awaken her and whenever you're gonna awaken her uh, you're gonna still have a lot more benefits for example whenever you're gonna have a uh, more shards you will just scrap it you will get more um, golden keys and then you're gonna have a better chance to have a legendary hero from the chest so as we already spoke almost not almost with like anything she's good i hope this video will help you don't underrate eliana she's great she will be useful uh, try and awaken her and have fun she will have a great impact on your gameplay bye bye guys hope you liked my videos like share subscribe and see you soon bye bye